did it do? All right, let's give it a couple. So first ban the Meepo, first ban the Ricky. Fair enough. I feel like Shadow de or Shadow, not Shadow Demon, guys. Um, gamble. There we go. Reserve time. Um, no Ted Easy, though it's not really my not really my thing. Alright, so they banned the Marana. They do have hand bent out the Shadow Dyer's Fiend pick. though, which kinda scares me to be honest. Oh, there's the Terror Blade pick. Radiance Didn't get banned pick. out this side, so they pick it. Actually it's usually been Power Van that's been banning out the Terror Blade, so they clearly think it's a strong hero. And I just realized I Hi Winged, welcome back. You still here? Oh no, I've lost my co-caster. Sorry, you had muted yourself, so I presumed I was all alone. Yeah, well, I was muted for, for the in-between games. Ten, but we're back now, and we've got a Terror Blade pick. Five, so it's actually, seven. it seems to me, unless I'm unless I'm wrong, that Power Van's been, um... Reserve time. They've been the ones, mainly, who've been banning out the Terror Blade much more than any of the other teams we've seen in this tournament so far, so they clearly value it quite a bit. And they're actually gonna, I guess they're gonna get to justify their opinion that it's ban worthy or first first round ban worthy um, by potentially playing it. It's interesting though that they haven't um, neither teams or that uh, Scrubsicles isn't interested in banning out the Shadow Fiend, uh, considering Radiant. how strong we've seen 109's uh, 109's Shadow Fiend being. Yeah, so that Marana ban out is very interesting. Yeah. I'm never expecting something particularly to, uh, which is going to counter them or anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, interesting to see the Meepo is still first ban. Yeah, Meepo is still first ban. They're like, you know what, we're not going to mess with that. We don't Ten feel the need. To go. We don't feel the need to have that, to have that contest, to have Five that game seconds. right at the moment. I'm excited about the Ogre, though. Ogre, good hero. Reserve time. Yeah, with his latest boost, he is a very strong support. Um, mm. So it'll be interesting to see whether he can use that to his advantage against Terrorblade in the early game. Dyer's hmm. ban. Right now, second phase of bans. This is looking already to be a very different, um, very different game than last game, as far as the heroes. It's um, it's like. Last was was like let's go get Radiant pickoffs and let's time. do really man fighty heroes and this time they're like going for a bit more um I mean like Tide Hunter they've got the massive team fight Ogre Magi very tanky gets to run around stunning people uh, it's yeah I'm excited about the ogre the banout the seven, legion which they picked go. themselves last last game five seconds Skyrath as well we apparently think we're back at TI four. Reserve fair enough, time. I guess. Oh, the Titan ban out, which is fair enough. He is a very strong hero in this patch. He didn't. We didn't really see him last game at all, though. Either picked or banned, if I, if I recall correctly. Ban. They ban out the Triant. It's interesting. It's interesting. Radiant like such ban. a different, such a different draft than last time. They are banning out. Power than the cells ban out the Slark. And I guess they Radiant were watching ban. yesterday. They decide that they also don't want to deal with the OD and his many hammers. But. Pyroblast Arcane Bolt might kill a level 1 Terrorblade. It'd certainly, it'd certainly make him pretty sad, that's for sure. Ooh, a Razor. Uh, we've seen, I think we've seen Moodfo on Razor. Um, I think we've seen him. In this tournament. We've seen, we've seen Currency play Razor as well, but he hates it, so I feel like it's probably going to end up being Mood on the Razor. Um... They go for the Venge. Radiance pick. Venge has been got, getting quite a lot of play as well. I'm excited about the lack of Shadow Shaman. I gotta say, it makes me happy. Ooh, a Weaver. Okay. Dyer's. It's exciting. Radiance 
Yeah, so we threw a good pick up simply because uh, even with the Terror Blade Sender, you can just time lapse back out of it. Mm -hmm. So, quite a nice counter to Terror Blade. Oh, that's true. And there's, and they don't have a ton. I mean, they do have Ravage, Radiant and they've got Vengeful Spirit Stone, and I guess now they have Jakiro. This is also probably going to be Power Bound on Jakiro. He loves that here as well, he should, because it's awesome. Bam. Such a Liquid Heart, Liquid Fire fangirl, but. Uh, Yeah, so Power Fan going for quite a lot of lockdown, and yeah. they might even get another. Uh, Ten seconds to still go. looking for is probably another carry, but uh, they might go for Five a little bit more seconds. stun just to keep this Weaver locked down. Yeah. And then the same with the Razor. Reserve time. All right, they ban out the. They actually Radiant ban out the Omni Spirit. Knight. Sage has got to be like no, but I don't think that his hero was is what's still left to be chosen at this point. I think they're looking for. Uh, they're looking for another core. So I think it is, is going to be a support Skyra. Let's see. We're all waiting with bated breath. I think they're looking for at least one, another hero with a stun. Mm. Um, so I think that against a three stun team, Ten you can't get away with just an Ogre. Yeah. Five seconds. Well, we'll see. Reserve time. Reserve time. You gotta think it over. It's definitely Pudge. It could actually be Pudge. Like, I'm not gonna say it isn't gonna be Pudge. A Pudge would actually be quite strong in that assist team. It's just you wouldn't be able to lane both Razor and in mid, so it would probably cost you a bit on the team. But, I don't know. Mid Pudge. Getting those hooks in could definitely be actually quite good. Wow, Ariel Waffle's got a lot of faith in Dyer. Thousand Eeps on Dyer. Yeah. Are they really 16, 15, 14? They're really considering, or are they. Ten uh, nobody said that they're go. just like DC'd. They have to pick. You gotta make a decision. I think we're silencer, okay. Alright. I can I can dig it. Make the enemies dumb win the game. You you can't, you know, you can't get ravaged if the Tide Hunter doesn't have enough mana to ravage. Easy. I have played a game where I've taken so much off uh, off Wraith King that he didn't have enough for his ultimate. Aww. So oh and a DP. So they go for the dirty push. They I guess with the play. with the Terror Blade on the Jakira and the Death Prophet. That's, that feels like that's going to be Pain City for Towers on uh, Scrubsicle's side. Yeah, that is a lot of early push. It really is. Yeah, it's not, lot, another, not, it's not another disable it. as well, but it is the silence on Weaver. Keeping him from time lapsing, lapsing is going to be painful. It's going to be pretty painful, honestly. I mean, the only push that they've really got you know, on Scrubsicle's is going to be the Razor once he gets his Ags, if he goes early Ags. And potentially if Weaver wants to go for the Deso split pushing build, he can, but yeah, I feel like they're definitely outpushed, outpushed lineup, which is a little worrisome for them. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to TBFF TYNHO Grand Finals. Um, and this should be interesting. We have Scrubsicles playing against Power Fan. This is game two of the of the series of the best of five. And playing for Scrubsicles, we've got SS Paul. is going to be on that support Skyrath. Currency is going to be headed. I bet he's going to be headed mid on that Silencer. Sage is going to be playing this uh, support Ogre, and Tal's going to be playing the Weaver, who I assume is either going to be offline or safely, and probably offline. And we've got an early smoke. And where is am I counting right? Yeah, here's Moodfall on the Razor. Um, and they're actually smoking into the enemy jungle, hoping to catch one out. We've seen this move a couple times in uh, a couple times in this tournament a ping <laughs> this is so nerve-wracking they might be Natural able to catch out jakira though they probably will be able seconds. to catch out jakira if they just oh no instead they're gonna run straight into straight into the terrible like, concussive shot gets him gets him slowed and they do get the stun on him and the nuke down and the glaze they need a bit more though and they're not going to get it instead patrick chewing's going to attract their attention they're going to try and chase him down but they don't have they don't have all the disables that they need they need one more they need talus going deep they get him 
And there's first blood. Successful, successful smoke into the enemy jungle. All right. Uh, may as well introduce uh, power bands now. So playing for power bands, we've got blue power band, the team captain himself, on that Jakira, which he loves so dearly. Headed mid, we've got Shy Girl, or 109, um, is going to be playing that Death Prophet. Headed toward the bot lane, we've got Method. Um, this fun from last game, we'll be playing the off lane Tidehunter. And we've got Ramosio, who had to go back and heal up from almost almost feeding first blood, is going to be on that Arcana up Terror Blade. Have I missed anyone? That Vengeful Spirit. Uh, the VS as well, I think I maybe missed. It was Patrick chewing. Bad first blood. Unfortunate for him. But anyways, we can't do the courier comp until we get a... Uh, until we're sure they're not morphed, but we'll see. Alright. So, uh, Meth has changed his courier, so the courier is no longer what it was last game. So he's now got the... What courier is currently in the base is the right one. And then, uh... There's still the wizard on the other one. The courier is... Not the current. So not, not this one. Not the Kang Di at the moment. No. Yeah. Alright, I'll wait until still he gets back wizard. there. And I can give him... I can take a look at that. Okay, so there's still the shitty wizard. And what's Dyer's courier, actually? Where is Dyer's courier? Oh, it's here. It's just not showing as a thing. They've got... The... What is this? The speed demon. It's probably going to be the shitty wizard winning then. Interesting that Bramosio is currently uh, jungling his turret blade. That's an interesting choice. Huh. It is. I guess he really. I guess he realizes that he's quite weak. Oh no, they're gonna waste everything on the illusion. It's gotta make him sad. But. To be fair, though, killing that illusion is actually quite damaging because he can't jungle without his illusion. So they just get something uh, out of that, and they've got the they've got the pull blocked as well. Um, it's an interesting ward from interesting ward from Power Van. I'm not sure if that's what I'd go for. Meanwhile, we're gonna have Blue Power Van's actually in Pain City. Uh, defensive stun, and he does manage to get the ice pack, but one more arcane bolt. You can get it off. He doesn't have arcane bolt. SS Paul actually hasn't leveled it yet. So that's something that's went for the out. seal over that. Um, but yeah. So that's that's two then in their favor. Radiance top tower is being attacked. So so far so good from from Scrubsicles. How are we doing in the mid lane though? We've got this is going to be Silencer versus DP, and they're pretty even on CS so far. Although I'm kind of scared for uh, for the Silencer, with all of the just constant nuke that DP has. Uh, once she gets her bottle as well, and there's always runes available. Meanwhile, the wraparound from Sage, nice rotation, and the last word. Unfortunate miss up hill, though. Um, is, she's not going to be actually even that low. Um, so that doesn't doesn't really work out for them. But Saying that, uh, Currency's got quite a lot of nuke in himself by uh, being able to... He's got... Out his curse of the silent, yeah. forcing out the spells. So if he, if he gets his good positioning, he's forcing a lot of mana to be wasted. That's true. Um, it's just, like, he doesn't get to get CS with his nukes, though, the way that um, DP can. Like, she can, she can... If she does it right, and she's going to, because it's 109, he can get CS and hero harass, whereas Currency's really only got the opportunity to hero harass. Unless, like you said, he does it he makes sure to do it, um, to do his, uh, his Curse of the Silent. Oh, apparently it's quite a good, um, quite a good matchup for Silence here as far as Dota buff is concerned. I mean, the thing that Global Silence is good for as well is from preventing potential Sunders and preventing ghosts and preventing, like, they this have such a big magic-based team fight, Denied. like, spell-based. If they, if those silences are well-timed, it will actually be really good for them. Yeah, Me so the key is that if currency gets caught out, then uh, it's not good oh. because oh. he means that... <laughs> yeah, so this a couple of dollars, but there shouldn't be anything. Yeah, I can't make anything of it. But uh, as long as currency stays out of these fights, he's fine. If he gets caught in an initial ravage or a silence from the Death Prophet or anything mm -hmm. like that, uh, then suddenly the entire team fight slightly falls apart. Mm -hmm. 
because there's no real big disable against the ghosts or the thunder or the uh, flames or anything like that. Yeah. So it's actually so important for them to make sure that it's that it's up and it's timed by timed right when they want to fight. Let's see, how's Moodfoot doing actually? So we've got he's farming pretty well, especially it's helpful for him to be um, ranged against against the offlane tide. Like it's actually a much better um, matchup than a lot of matchups against tides because he doesn't get anchor smash, doesn't get his damage stolen, and in fact heal steal damage instead, which is uh, pretty helpful for him. So top last hits on the board so far. Uh, Radiant's middle top. tower is under siege. This top lane, though, so fighty. I wish that, um, I wish these supports had a smoke, but it looks Radiant's like they're actually just going to go babysit the rune. Attacked. Once it spawns, maybe pick it up. Death Prophet's headed back. Uh, Bur Brumosia is slightly suffering with this jungle farm. He he's he's had to go back to the fountain again, just dropping a little too low. Yeah, they keep, um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, Brumosia was initially on their on their roster, and then he said that he couldn't, so he got bumped to being a stand-in. That's why he was initially he was initially on Scrubsicle's roster, but I just forgot to change the um, thing to to reflect that. All right. Oh no, currency no, wrong one. Oh, we've got. Okay, now they've got the smoke. Now they've got the smoke, and it gets broken, so they know there's someone nearby. They pop the ward so that they can actually get the vision, and yeah, they're just gonna blow up this venge before she can do much. She's got a stun to try and save her against one of them, but it's not gonna stop you from the ogre. But oh, I no, support so comes around from the chorus. Chorus gonna clean him up. And that was actually that was actually so bad for them, but we've got ward friends, guys. Not very long duration ward friends, but ward friends nonetheless. Yeah, you know, blue power van catches that sage in an ice path. Just kind of harassy though. Cancels his. Uh, I think he had a clarity on at that point. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, much needed kill for. Caravan at that point. Slightly falling behind up until then. Heads down. Putting the gold onto Terra Blade as well. Mm, that's pretty necessary for them, because he's... I mean, they keep killing his... Like you said, they kept killing his illusions, making it harder for him to jungle. But what's he got now? He went Quelling Bed, Stout Shield, he's got his Aquila. Alice is pretty low, actually. Doesn't have any regen, either. He's got his Aquila as well. Um, which is interesting. They've got... They're stacking... Oh, no. It was him that has it. They might be able to get the kill on Power Band, but Shakiri's actually surprisingly tanky. Oh, that time lapse out of when the Ice Path's gonna go. Nicely done. Uh, they don't end up getting the kill on him, though, unfortunately, for them. But Power Band's still alive. And he's actually got the Buckler for his mech, so he's rushing that... He's going brown boots met as fast as he can. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, currency got the right one this time because there's only one available, but might be in trouble. Concussive bolt isn't gonna be uh, isn't really gonna be enough though. Just gonna drop him down. He's very little mana, but um. Yeah, that's gonna send Shry back to the fountain though because yeah. uh, it's quite, already it's quite it helpful. missed both of the runes. So. And silencer as well Double has a full bottle, bottle so. Yeah, you guys should have bet your eeps on, on Radiant just because everybody did their eeps on Dire. Okay. So we got Meemaw, Moodfo, out farming everyone. And what's he got? He's got... He's only 200 away from actually having his having his mech. Meanwhile, the wraparound. It looks like they're going to get Ramosio here, potentially. Currency smoked. Pops off the uh, the last word and the curse of silence. He's that's a very dead terribly. <laughs> but they might be in trouble on the back end actually. Shy girls popped off his ghost and currency is super dead. And they may as well. So they might get the kill on blue power van. Um, or not. Or not. Talus is actually going to time lapse himself into a terrible position. He needs to get out of here. They don't have detection, but Sakuchi isn't going to last this long. And he's in trouble. He's got enough mana for another Sakuchi. But they know he's in their jungle. 
He needs to get out of there. It looks like he might be able to. Two, one, go, 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 go. There you go. Good job. All right. But that was, that turnaround, not so, not so great for Scrubsicles. They do manage to pick up a kill on the Terra Blade. Always great, but they lose both their Silencer and their, uh, and their Weaver. So two of their cores down for one core that was struggling anyway for Power Band. But, um, let's see, did... Sazer actually get so he's got four stolen int now? Yeah, so he actually did manage to get the int from that terror blade. From that terror blade kill. He did get in range. It looked like he was maybe a bit too far away, but But they got it. So what have we got on Shakira's actually gonna soak up some soak up some solo int. Or soak up some solo XP, actually. But it's hard for a it's hard for a dragon to stand against the silencer. He's actually gotten so uh Oh, really? So it's a good combo. Oh, that might have been a bad idea, Blue Power Band. I'm just That's just a very thinking. good Power Band. It really is. He got himself out of... No, he didn't get himself out of range, actually, of currency. Isn't that a... I thought that was a... Um, yeah, within 900 range. Huh. I thought that, that, was, that he was maybe out of it, but not quite. So the, so the last word, if it's on you, um, there is no range. So. Oh, really? So if you have the last word... On you if the last die. word's on you, it will keep going until you, uh, unless they cast a spell. And because he was out of mana already, he couldn't cast a spell to take it off. No, but I mean for the, damage. no, I mean for the stolen intelligence is what I meant. Stolen, intel stolen intelligence, if you kill them, you always get the intelligence regardless okay. of where they are on the map. I thought it was from any enemy hero that dies in 900 range. I thought it was only the within the range thing. You know, currency, oh, yeah, dies to what? one really well placed, uh, <laughs> Crypt Swarm. Yeah, so it's you. It's it's similar to Pudge. So you get the you'll get the intelligence if either they're in range or if you or kill if them. You're... Okay. All right. Um, Today I learned. And if they happen to be both, you only get one hit. That's yeah. a problem. All right. Meanwhile, how are we doing down here? We've got Razor's got his mech now. Got his mech treads of cooler. Um. So he's been doing well. He hasn't died at all. He's gotten one assist. I think that was the that was just the opening. Other than that, this lane's been incredibly, has been incredibly calm. Stealing a lot of damage though, but Death Prophet's surprisingly tanky at this point. They're not going to be able to really do anything. And Method is here. What does Method have? He doesn't have his blink. He's a twelve hundred gold away, so he can't actually blink ravage him under the tower um, in position for Shy Girl to pop, pop his ghost. But they will scare him off. Dyer's middle tower is being attacked. You know, up here, Talus. Talus as well having a pretty good game. It looks like he's going Lincolns. He's got his Akula and Treads. Um, so it's gonna be it's gonna be quite a while until he gets his Lincolns, but he has been involved in several kills and I thought he had died though. I thought that he actually died to that ravage. No, no, that's right. He ran around. He like ran all the way around like here and got out. Dyer's yeah, he hit about thirty HP attack. or something he like that. About, yeah, he, that's did right. he did actually get up. Nobody called me on that. I said it wrong. <laughs> oh, well. Meanwhile, up top, they're going to spend everything on the illusion again. Or not. All right. Who we got here? We got Blue Paravan. Yeah, he's going to back out. Wants no part of this. It's no part of the gank train. But Verizius is actually being hurt quite a lot by these illusion ganks because he's back in the fountain again. Despite mm. not actually having taken part in any team fight. Yeah, and he's really only so he's... got Treads of Cola as well, and 900 gold. But that's up against, consider they that's up against the Razor, who has Treads of Cola and an entire mech finished off. So, definitely, definitely well behind in farm by about 1500 gold. Radiant Looks like currency is going for a straight top. ags, so. Yeah, what's that? I. Yes, it does. But they're going to lose their first tower of the game. Um, they try and maybe get the kill on Shy Girl, but she's so tanky. Like, it hurts a little bit. He pops off the pops off the curse, but he gets actually... He needs to... Yeah, there's the silence. Needed it very badly. They need to kill her, actually, before she can get her ghosts off. Um, and it doesn't look like they're actually going to be able to. He needs one more hit. Oh, no. I think that's going to actually do it. Let's watch. Yeah, no, she doesn't that have anything to save her because yeah. she used her rules on him, and she doesn't have any bottle charges. So, that's a good, it's a good death for for them as well. So yeah, more stolen it there. Yeah, more stolen it. So, what do we got on? 
So Method's about 600 away from his gold now, or 6-700 away from his blink, if he is going blink next, which I assume he is. Invisibility. Um, oh wow, Essence Paul's actually not even 6 yet, what are our hero levels looking like? Yeah, so we've got both of the mids are at 11. Um, the real discrepancy, I think, is, so, both the mids are at 11, both the offlaners at 12. Real discrepancy is between, um, the safe lane carries, where Razor's 10 Dyer's and, uh, Terra Blade's 8. But other than that, seat. pretty even, except that the supports, support supports. Alright. Alright. Oh, Talisus looks like it's gonna fall. He doesn't actually get the time lapse. Was available, but wasn't actually able to use it. I think he might have been, um, might have been Ravage. Moonfall's got his ult going, but it's not gonna save him from the, it's not gonna save him from the Ravage. Ravage and Ghost is a crazy scary team fight. Sage as well. Just gonna get eaten to death by the Ghost Ladies and caught in an ice path. He's in Death City. So that's a three for one, I think. But they didn't have... And that's actually a death on that razor, which hurts them Radiant's quite a lot. Uh, he's kind of there. Seat. He's kind of where the basket, their eggs are being put in at Radiant the moment. Radiant has fortified its structures. Um, Radiant's top tower is being attacked. Team fight recap? No, did I miss it? So in, yeah, interestingly, uh, he fallen. never actually used the mech in the entire of that fight. So oh. I think he may have run out of mana. Oh no, currency! Get out of there, dude! Being They're actually going to be able to get this, it looks like. Yeah. They yules him, get everybody in position, and my team, he's the Radiant deadest silencer I've ever seen. Very. Alright, so what have we got on DP? There's but some interesting wards in gold. mid. I don't know whether yeah. you noticed the... Uh, <laughs> I didn't see them, but are they, were they wards. actually <laughs> placed by the same person? Yeah, Sage? Yeah, I think they were. Sage just decided that he, uh, I think maybe he, it was like in the middle of a team fight or something and he meant to, to put down sentries. I'm not sure who he'd want the sentries for, though nobody's got in this. Um, and he doesn't have sentries, so he just, maybe he thought he hadn't placed it and he placed it again. Because they were placed like one right after the other as well. Dyer's top tower is or maybe he was attack. like, he was like, I gotta get Dyer the ward down, I gotta get the ward down, and it, yeah. Radiant's bottom tower is being went. attacked. Anyway, they're gonna get this Dyer's kill on the top, top tower. tower Nobody's coming in to defend it, but they're gonna lose their bot tower. So it's a tier one for tier one trade, most likely. But Dyer's big fight brewing in the bot lane. They want to try and get Shy Girl down before her ghosts come off cooldown, and she uses it. And it looks like they will Radiant's be able to do so. No, not quite. They're gonna have to get one more glaive off, Ooh. and they do so. Um, actually, that's that makes sure that they're in range. They're gonna get one on her as well. More still in it, up to 12 now. And they actually managed to defend their tower. Um, they also get the tower top as well. Yeah, so, that's yeah, so that was going to be a trade, but it wasn't even. So yeah, went really well for them. They picked up two, one on the Death Prophet, which they de desperately need. Uh, she did manage to pick up her Vit Booster before she died, though. So she wasn't sitting on as much... I think she managed to pick it up before she died, because she had quite a, lot of, quite a lot of gold that she was hanging on to before. Last time we looked at her. Anyway, what's Moodfo got now? Looks like he is going for BKB next, actually. Not rushing the straight axe. He's very scared of, I guess, Tide Ravage, as well he should be, and all the Jakira damage. Um, that's not going to save you against Ghosts. Siege. And Sunder. Sunder Dyer goes through BKB or doesn't? Here's his spell immunity, yes, so it looks like it does. Um, so it's not going to save him from being Sundered. Meanwhile, Shy Girl, they're going for that same. Yule's the silencer. Stop him from... Ooh, swap back from Moodfo. He could actually potentially be in trouble, or not. They're turning around. They're getting a lot of damage on, on Patrick Radiant's Chewing. Top yeah. tower is under siege. So Currency's got the negative buff on Radiant him, but that is more imp stolen. And that makes this matchup in this mid lane. Dyer's bottom tower oh, is Sage! Siege. Sage, what you doing Radiant's there, man? Top tower is being attacked. Yeah, Sage, I'm sorry. Stands up. <laughs> Stands up. <laughs> they're turning back. They're like, I'm sorry, buddy. There's nothing I can do for you. Somebody needs a four staff. Nobody's got one. Radiant's top tower has been denied. So, I'm not sure what I'm not sure what Sage was was doing there. She's very out of position. And now we've got the Death Prophet Ghost thinking. on the tower, and uh, tower doesn't have a glyph available. Prince gets caught in the ice path, actually. Radiant's but yeah, this is, is this is a dead tower, I think, and a dead Skyrath as well. There's nothing he can really do to get himself out of here. Yeah, but with a rabbit drop, they can't dive in to defend it. Yeah. So we sort of have to just watch. Oh, currency? Radiant's currency? Ooh, currency. Oh, currency! 
Yeah, you'd usually see, you quite often see a uh, force staff on the silencer. Is not an unusual item on him. Currency runs in, tries to get something done. Now that Ravage has been blown, um, doesn't have... Yeah, he does get the last word off. They're going to get the uh, tie the down, and it's more stolen. And Moodfo's dropping pretty low, though. Has he actually used his mech? He has, so it's on cooldown. So they do get one, but they lose their tower. Um... It's a bit rough. And meanwhile, the Terra Blade isn't even in that fight. He's just split pushing top, like Terra Blade do. Radiance top tower is under siege. Could be pretty rough for them. <laughs> meanwhile, we've got Blue Paravans. Blue Paravans' brother is in chat. So. What's DP got? Green power van. Green power van. They've also got pink power van, which is also attacked. another one of the brothers. Bad news for you fans of towers out there. So what have we got? Green What's Promosio doing then? He's he's received. managed to catch up a little bit. He's got his Yasha. He's heading towards his BKB, I think. Um, yeah, I'm trying to speak whether he's going BKB or whether he's going straight for a Manta at this point. Um, oh, you mean Sange? Or yeah, he's, he's sort of, I think he's sort of in half minds as well as to what he wants to go to next, because it's interesting he hasn't brought up any more Radiance items. Yeah. As in, he's definitely got enough for an item about. and still have enough for Radiance buyback, so he's saving it down. for something. He's deciding, he's weighing his options, I guess. Meanwhile, we still don't have our mech up on our, um, on our Jakira, and he's been working on that. He's been rushing that since the beginning of the game. He actually went back and finished his arcane, so, so I guess he decided that certain point that those are pretty helpful especially considering how much uh has been stolen so far from his team it means that uh they do need to um they need the help with the mana meanwhile in the mid lane we've got promosio here and moodfo two safe lane carries i'm a little worried for them though there's actually a death prophet coming around from behind and she could pop her ghosts they need the silence maybe no they don't get it off in time Meanwhile, she's standing in the middle of the Skyrath ult, though. Nice ult. Currency's gonna die, though. Almost immediately. Gets off a curse before he dies, but so far... Actually? No, he lived. He lived. And, uh, they get their razor as well, so that's two cores down for Scrapsicles. Paravan's doing really well in this fight, and they get, they get a third. A double kill on the, double kill on the Death Prophet. A fantastic fight for them. And with this, they can... There as well. Yeah. Locking down that weaver. Wow. And they're going to take a Roche off of that. Medallion finally coming into play. How long have they actually had that? I feel like they've had that medallion for ages. Oh no, I'm thinking yeah, last game that they had a medallion five for ages. But five or a bit minutes. Has been killed by the dive. So, Terror Blade actually gets that. It hurts, man. Currently, currently sitting on three, three and a half thousand gold. So he's saving for something. Mm. Yeah, it's gonna go rape your guys. <laughs> Confirms he hates kittens. Rape, yeah. All right. Yeah. I wonder what he is actually gonna go for. On oh, man, they still haven't gotten. So Scrubsicles has actually only gotten two towers. There's still a tier one left on the board, and they only have one outer tower left. So it's a little worrisome yeah. for them. They really need Dying. to be getting and, that gold. Uh, push, and push line up to work. Yeah, it was it was incredibly even until like five minutes ago, and then it just took a massive. They lost a couple of those team fights. They lost a couple of those towers, and the gold advantage just dipped. Meanwhile, there's a smoke into the there's a smoke into the. Um, into the dire jungle, but I'm a bit afraid for them because they're not all together. They might be able to catch out. Yeah, they're going to be able to catch out Method, blow him up before he can do anything. Still a little bit of Isn't as well, which is pretty helpful for them. But in comes Shy Girl, who's the one you really got to worry about. Mufo has popped his BKB and he's popped his ult as well, doing a lot of damage. Shy Girl, though, so fucking tanky. There's not a lot that they can do against it. They might be able to get the Venge, but Sage is definitely going to die. And bromosia has got his BKB. That's what he decided to buy in the end. He's being hurt. Oh, but that Sunder. Doesn't matter. He dies in the end. And all we've got left, we've got a Weaver and a, uh, a, Weaver and a Silencer versus the Ghost. But she uses herself, and the Silencer is super dead. Actually falls, in fact, to the Terra Blade. Weaver dead as well. That Aegis doing absolute work in that fight. Turns it around. 
brings the advantage back to uh, to Paramount. Really good Yules as well from the um, from the Death Prophet. She held on to it as long as she needed until actually until exactly when she needed. Um, but time for the for the Terror Blade to respawn. And her ghost will heal her back up, and yeah, really good fight for Power Van again. It looked like it was gonna be looks like looked like it was gonna be great for um for Scrubs, but they turned it around. <laughs> what we learned today: ghosts do damage, indeed. Ghosts, it appears, do in fact do damage. It's interesting. We do have um we do have both a. Uh, We have the ghosts and the razor ult are both physical damage, right? So we have two big team fight, lots of damage spells that are completely undeterred by BKB or any kind of magic resistance. So that's quite interesting, um, especially considering how much, how many BKBs we have being built this game. You know, we've got, uh, well, the two are on the carries and how quickly they came out. Um, I think, wasn't somebody else building a BKB at one point? I thought that not maybe I'm a liar. That's, I think you're imagining things. I place. think I am imagining things. I thought that I thought that somebody else. Oh well, guess I was wrong. <laughs> Let's just hope I accidentally put my eaves on there. <laughs> But how much, so how much have we int has the silencer stolen so far? So 22 int. But. Death Prophet's been pretty tanky this game as well. She's actually got, oh, that's why. She's got a heart. She has a heart, guys. And she's leading the net worth charts. Terrorblade not far behind. And they're actually a fair few thousand gold ahead of both the Razor and the Silencer. Weaver caught up ways behind. Weaver actually below. Uh, her counterpart as well, by about 500 gold. Yeah, and the gold lead's starting to get out of hand here. It's at 10k. I mean, that does mean that if they're able to get those pickoffs, that the comeback mechanic will come into play. And there is quite a lot of gold left on the map in terms of towers. If they can get some of that, some of that, um, some of that comeback mechanic gold, some of that tower gold, they could potentially get back in. But it's a, it's pretty worrisome for them. Razors, yeah. He's got mech BKB, but he's nowhere near, nowhere near the ags that you'd imagine that they need to actually get those tower kills, because they don't have much else in, in terms of push. In terms of push, what has Weaver gone for? Yeah, yeah Weaver doesn't even. So have interestingly, SC actually dealt more damage in that last team fight than Powervan did. Mm -hmm. um, however, obviously the tankiness of uh, the Death Prophet just means that they were just weren't able to actually get her down. Yeah, and, and she the... dealt by far the most damage on the other team. And as well, like, a lot of the, the nukes that they have um, are really foreseeable. That Death Prophet can see, um, Death Prophet can see all of, um, can see all of uh, Skywrath's spells coming, can see um, the big burst of damage at the end of, um, at the end of the Silencer last word, he can, she can see that coming. So she can Yules herself out of quite a bit of their burst which is pretty, pretty problematic for them when they're trying to burst her down. You've seen it a couple of times. It's like, oh, and that's going to kill her. Nope, Yules, she's fine. Like, bottom tower is under spend seat. pretty, pretty good times on those. Yeah, the all-star game happened Radiant's yesterday, but you should be able to see the bot. I'm not sure if um, if Gaz has put it up yet. I haven't transferred it over to the YouTube. I know, but... Alright. Oh, wasting it. Siege. Meanwhile, Radiant ghosts are out in the bottom tower. This could be breaking structures. this could be breaching the base. We do have yeah. They do have Ravage up. Radiant's bottom tower is They being could attacked. potentially they want to turn it, but they could be in trouble. They could be in trouble. Out comes the ice path. And actually, oh, big ravage catches everybody out. Moodfoss got his uh guys BKB going. They might be able to get method. Oh nope, but he gets swapped back and actually he's fine. Blue Paravan or Patrick chewing instead gonna get caught out they need to get more yeah they do get eventually get the tide they're gonna get their third they're gonna get blue power van himself yeah that's he falls as well and that's more in so they lose power van loses loses three and i think they lost int on all three of those or no only on one of those 
Um, and they aren't able to break the base, but they do get quite a lot of tower damage onto that. They delayed a little bit, um, and, it, and it hurt them, so that actually ended up... I mean, the gold swing is gonna be, gonna be, we'll give that a second to update. The gold swing is gonna be helpful for Scrubsicles, and it's gonna hurt Paragon, but it still feels like they're just further and further into their base. Yeah, so that that uh, didn't even have a terror blade in that fight. So oh god, I, I feel that. Uh, yeah, that makes a big difference. They're trying to go up here without the terror blade. Actually, that kind of shows their hand that, despite them having lost three heroes, they weren't even sending in their big pusher. Mm He's -hmm. now got their manta up. So that's uh, manta and building for his caddy, I think. Oh wow, Shane, that's good to hear. I'm glad my, my share that I bought in, in Aqua Burgers is going to do work for me. Alright. What have we got now? So he's actually look, working on that refresher, it looks like. Going... Going, uh... Full shut-up build. Going double... Double... Oh, I forget what we called it. The double shut the fuck up build. <laughs> nah. Powerman's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fine. Those <laughs> no stats, though? What has he actually gone for? Yeah, so he's going for his ags. He's about 800... 850 away. However, at the same time, um, by the time he gets that axe, that uh, Death Prophet will have her Shiva's guard up, so mm. even if she gets the uh, axe ultimate on her, he's yeah. just going to tank straight through it, unfortunately. Well, it's it's hoping for, um... I guess what they're, they're hoping to be able to get towers, so if they if they are able to win a team fight this time, which they have been able to on occasion this game win a team fight. Maybe they're actually going to be able to, to rush in and get a tower or two off of it with the with the Ags ult being able to hit the towers. But Meanwhile, that's a bit of a wasted smoke from Power Van. They're hoping to catch somebody out, but uh, yeah, Weaver's getting out of there. I think they, they can sense they can sense the incoming death. Want no part of it. Alright, what have we got on SS Paul now? So he's really just got his mana boots pretty poor. Oh, lowest net worth in the game, no wonder. But we are, yeah. I mean, the net worth still hurts quite a lot. I mean, it, they brought it back 2k. They brought it back to 8k, but it's just slowly sliding down again. I mean, paragon has got so much more net worth. Oh, does he already have his refresher? Oh, he does. Is it on the curry? No, it's not on the curry yet, but he's he's pretty close. He's almost got it. And they're Russian bot again. Do they have ghost up? They've got ghost up. And they Guys, need to get back in time. Powers, SS Paul. Run! Run, SS Paul! Oh god. Oh god. Dio structures have been fortified. Dio's middle tower is being attacked. Alright. Okay. Oh. Shagra. They yeah, maybe need to get the silence off seat. before the big ultis if they're going to do this, which it looks like they are, but they don't actually silence in time. Does he have it up? Man. Oh, it silence comes that out now. Uh, so Crimson attack. Guard, they want to try... Ooh, ult actually not going to do anything to Ramosia because he's got that BKB on and running. They're going to get Blue Paraffin, but it's not really enough to justify yeah, anything. They've actually lost two. Uh, almost lost three silencers still alive, but only just barely, and they're going to lose this tower and potentially rocks. Yeah, no buyback on the Razor. I don't yeah. think they can defend this at all. No. They this needed, may they also be a mid tower as well. Yeah, they needed, um, I feel like they needed the silence sooner. Uh, they needed to silence before Tide actually got his ulti off. They needed to silence before Death Prophet got her ghost off, um, and they weren't able to do so. Or they didn't do so. Radiant's um, middle tower yeah. has been destroyed. There's one Rax, there's two Rax. They've Radiant got that push lineup, it's in their base. Structures. They popped the glyph now. I'm not sure about that timing. And Currency's actually potentially caught up as well. They might be able to get a kill on the uh, might be able to get a kill on him. Or not. He actually TP's out. <laughs> See you later, guys. They're gonna try and get Patrick Chewy. Farewell. 
Your mind flows to me. Yeah, it feels that feels pretty much like the game. That's not nearly all that happened. I mean, two lanes of Rex. Well, a lane and a half of Rex. This will regenerate because it is the melee, but feels like blue paravans. They've got it. The paravans have got it sort of well in hand at this point. Death Prophet's so tanky. She's so tanky, and her and that level three ult does quite a lot of damage. Hurts the buildings. <laughs> middle tower has been denied. That's a deny. Yeah, and that's a scuddy up for the uh, Terror Blade, which makes him even more fearsome. Mm. Yeah. That's attack speed, so as well as that move, so. Yeah. That is now, however, a fresher eggs on the silencer, so that's a still 14 second silence, which is. Yeah, but they need to get a it big off silence. before, yeah. you know, before the team fights already, before they've popped their big team fight abilities, and that's not something that they've been able to do yet. Meanwhile, another rush. So, as, a, as I was saying before the game, it's uh, it, currency does have to stay out of these team fights. You need to sit at the back to make sure that silence gets off. Mm -hmm. And the kid's getting sitting a little too close. Right. To be fair, it is slightly or um, slightly depressing that he is actually hitting harder than the Weaver at this point in the game. It is. Well, the Weaver went for actually a Crimson Guard, which is a really interesting choice and actually never finished our Lincolns. Um, started a Lincolns beginning of the game, been working on it since the beginning of the game and, and hasn't actually completed it. Um, meanwhile, big engagement potentially happening. Nah, they're just going to sort of scare him off. Mufa actually needs to be careful. They're all heading his direction. He's going to see the Terrible Blade illusion, though, and know that they at least care about him being there, and he will TP out. Is that a Lincoln's on the Death Prophet? Or has she just forgotten the Bloodstone build? Um... I don't know. Could be either. Could be either. I mean, I guess what does Lincoln's really stop? What does Lincoln's really stop at this point, though? Like it, it stops. I guess the seal. Um, Still and in the stun off the word. ogre. Yeah, the stun off the ogre. Actually, that's quite important. Oh man, Manly. the silences Manly have happened, um, but I don't know if. Oh, she actually gets her ghosts off in between. Oh, that's Sunder. Oh, yeah. he's so big, and he's bloodlusted, and he's terrifying. Boosh, boosh, boosh. And, the and that's the game. They call it out. Yeah, I feel oh, like I feel like there was a real oh, chance here for Scrub's Pulse, but the kit, but the push was insane. Um, and the push just hurt even care, a lot. And right. the uh, push strats are still still the winner. So so work. Turns out.